All right, now allow me to blow your mind for just a second here. The fossils that I'm about to find in this creek behind me, they're about 80 million years older than the first ever dinosaurs to appear in the fossil record. The first dinosaurs appeared about 240 million years ago from the present, making these fossils around 320 million years old. I'm no expert, but that's pretty freaking old. Now to give you an example of the type of stuff we're looking for out here, look at that. That is a leaf. There's a leaf in the rock. You can see that pretty clearly. And I'm pretty sure this was somebody's, you know, throwaway pile because it was just sitting right here on the top like this. There's another one right here. Pretty cool. So, that is a bug. Ooh. But yeah, that's what we're looking for. And so, hey, one man's trash is another man's treasure. I am keeping that one. Now these fossils are from the Carboniferous period where this entire area was basically a giant swamp. And so you had giant bugs, like giant dragonflies, six foot long centipedes lived here, but also a ton of different prehistoric plants. Let's see, how do I want to do this? I guess we'll just start like this. There we go. There's a split. Anything? Uh, not quite. Looks like another good piece. Yep, we'll try that. Oh yeah, look, right there. Yep, there's fossils. Check that out. Those are calamites. So those are giant horsetail plants. And so that definitely gives me hope that we're gonna find something good. The wise man once said, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. There's a fossil. See those lines running this direction? That's a calamite stem. That's another one of those giant horsetail plants. Uh, I don't even know if I wanna split this rock now. I don't want to damage the calamite. I wonder if we could just... Get some water on that. Anything? Going once, going twice. Sold for about tree fitting. By the way, it's finally starting to warm up now. So hopefully with this warmer weather coming through, I'll be able to make more videos for y'all because I'm not gonna lie. Getting in the water like this in 50 degrees or less, not my cup of tea. I say not my cup of tea like I'm British, not my cup of beer, something like that, I don't know. America. Yep. And there is another plant fossil right there. Check it out. Another plant fossil right there. There's a leaf in the rock. Man, when somebody tells the plant to grow in the ground, this is not what they mean, bro. another small calamite in this one running right along there pretty nice you know somebody walking by is just gonna see some gremlin crouched over in the creek hitting rocks which just confirms that I am indeed related to Smeagol That short walk that I just did, I just found three separate plants. So the first one is gonna be right down here. Oh yeah. Another little fern fossil there. Big chunk of calamite right here running down. Big old horsetail. Very nice. And then, this is probably the biggest leaf I've found so far. Right in the middle there. Pretty clearly see it. There's a snail on it. Check that out though, that's really cool. So I think I'm gonna move up that way. Those last few I found were about right in this section here. So I'm just gonna start. Sure enough, literally right off the bat, another decent section of calamite right there. Literally as soon as I got back in the water and I picked up a rock. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna start picking up rocks. I would be a great caveman picking up so many rocks. Grug want plant fossil. Oh yeah, another plant leaf. Literally in this section, just right next to me, I'm just picking up rocks and finding leaves in the rock. That is so cool. And just think, these things are so much older than any other fossils that we find on the channel. 322 million years old, roughly. Incredible. Oh wow. Y'all look at this one. 
Look at the amount of leaves in this rock right here. Is that main piece on the bottom and then they're just jumbled all through here. That is awesome. All kinds of different fern fossils out here. It's a really good section of calamite. Probably the best preserved piece of the trip so far. You can really see the grooves in that bark. I'll probably put up a close up of it after it dries. That is just crazy. I love it, man. I love these types of fossils. Dude. We just need to make a petition to rename the Carboniferous into the calamite issues. There's just so many calamites. It's like every other rock I pick up, there's poorly preserved ones running through it. That kind of gives you an idea of what the area used to look like back then. It was a huge swamp spanning for thousands of miles. Giant insects, you had giant horsetail plants like these calamites. Trees that were ferns, like huge. So it was like an alien world compared to what we have today. It's a single leaf. Got the leaf rock. Oh yeah. Oh, hello. Big old section of plant leaf right here. A good sized plant leaf right there. That's really cool. Keeper for sure. I believe this is a new species for this trip. I'm gonna get a close up of that here in a bit. That's a brand new species for us finding stuff out here. I don't know what exactly that is. That's cool though. A lot of the rocks that I'm finding behind me don't really have any fossils in them, so I'm thinking that this big boulder slab thing that I'm standing on, I think that's where the fossils are coming out of. So if you look over here, there's very, very slight imprints of calamites here. Look at those lines right there. That's a calamite for sure stuck in there. Whoa, 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 hold on. Y'all look at here. You can hardly see, you see those little diamond shapes in the rock here? can't hardly see it yeah right there that's from a tree called a lepidodendron and these this was basically the bark they had these sort of scale patterns on the on the bark and those were individual uh, bark scars where leaves would come out of it now they don't look like normal leaves they would just be like just a single strand of leaf I guess a full tree would have looked very uh, well hairy that's a pretty uh, disgusting picture to think about a, a hairy tree but that's what these look like you see that right there another section of calamite they're everywhere there's another one right there i did not think i would have this much luck out here today Sorry, i'm trying not to slip and fall into the wall break a hip or two or three i don't know Breaking a third hip, that would be pretty bad, I think. Just look at how nice this creek is, though. Look at all this. Beautiful. Y'all ain't gonna believe this one. Look right over here. I was literally about to walk up to the truck and look down here. There's more, oh my. Look at all the plant fossils. Oh, that's beautiful. I'm so lucky to have walked up here just to check it out. A lot of this is just coming out of the wall right here and breaking up as it erodes. Dude, dude. Oh, that's beautiful. And there's this one over here. Ugh. Wow. I cannot believe that. There. Dude, there's more. There's just more. There's every, it's everywhere. Look, there's some, there's some right there. Look, going through there. It's probably a too big of a rock. Oh breaking that's what the rock's doing more in there dude that is crazy definitely the finds of the trip here all right let's get these back to the truck yo look at this i got a flow boat of fossils what dude? all right guys so it's a couple days later i've given the fossils some time to dry out so let's go take a look and see what we found all right so here's all the finds laid out got plenty of different fern fossils in these rocks here all kinds of really cool stuff here. I really like this piece. You can really see the detail in the rocks here. And a couple of these have just filled with ferns. Absolutely filled. You can see all through there. Got another pretty good piece right there. And then right here we got a good couple good sections of calamites. And as well as 
this really good preserved one here. You can really see the grooves in that bark there. And there's also this small little fern frond right here. You can't hardly see it, but that's pretty cool. I think my favorite piece by far is the one I found in the beginning. And you can really see the detail in the fern right here. It's really nice. Yeah, I'll check this out. So off camera, I decided to split open a couple of the rocks just to see if I could get them broken down into smaller pieces for display. And look at this. There's actually another really good fern fossil right there inside of the rock that I just split. I might break this one down a little bit more. I'm just trying to get this one ready for display. But yeah, definitely will not complain there. Well, I really hope y'all enjoyed that video. I know I had a lot of fun making it. Hopefully sometime soon we'll be heading back to that site and finding a whole lot more fossils in a lot better condition. Because honestly, I have a feeling we kind of just scratched the surface with the finds we made. I know my buddy Caleb's been wanting to go back to that site with me for a good while now. So pretty soon we're going to be hitting it up again. Fingers crossed we'll be finding some better stuff. So hope y'all enjoyed the video and I will see y'all in the next one.